Alright, hello guys, I'm bringing you guys another gameplay, and uh, I've got a uh, turbine nuclear for you guys. This is a near flawless, I almost got the flawless. Uh, I've gotten a flawless on this map before, I think, actually. Uh, I fucking, I, I remember it because I got a lot of kills and and uh, basically did the same thing uh, that I did on this map. And you're going to see it, and I'll point it out to you guys. Uh, but yeah, I've gotten a flawless nuclear on this game, bef on this map. Not this game. I have got them on this game, obviously, but on this map, uh, in particular, because I've, I've pretty much mastered uh, sort of like a strategy, to, you know, to sort of get around these guys and and make them come to me. And uh, I'm gonna point them out to you as they happen. One of them's about to come up right here. Uh, okay, so this area right here, that area I was just looking at, that is sort of uh, an exit, you know, way to out of their spawn. They're gonna be spawning down. Uh, by uh, by C, they're gonna be spawning, you know, to the left, right, in the middle, back there behind that rock. So this is sort of an exit way. You can come this way, you can go through the middle, or you can go through the other side. And from this way, I can see pretty much everywhere they're going. So when they spawn, they're either gonna come to me, they're gonna go to the middle, or they're gonna go to the other side. And probably chances are I'm gonna get them anyway because you know I'm looking right in their spawn. So they're not gonna be able to see me. And uh, these guys start to spawn out. And then here's the second what thing that I, I like to do. Okay, so I run over here. This is sort of an area. I don't know what it is about this area right here where people come. I think they're trying to get into the little building over there and, and overlook uh, a certain area, maybe out B, whatever the case may be. People like to go over there to that little room and, and sit up there. So as you can see, I'm locking down this little area. You know, nobody. I've never really seen a player go over that far left route that that guy just took and go all the way around. You know, like I said, I don't know what it is about that area. People like to just you know, get in that area, go to that building. Maybe they'll drop down and go down in the turbine to get B or something. I don't know. Just the way people play this map, I pretty much figured it out. You know, most of them like to come this way. I don't know why. I mean, even I go this way a lot. Uh, I don't know what it is about this map. You know, I mean, this way right here is the, really the way that people like to go. Uh, the way the spawns are set up, if my team starts to push the far right and I'm right here, they're going to spawn behind me and... Uh, with the orbital B sat, I can tell where they're spawning with that UAV right there. I know he's behind me. And uh, just get an easy kill. Uh, yet again. Uh, pretty much just dropping these guys. Know where they are. Uh, that's pretty much all you get to do on this map. Is sit in that little left side part of the map. And run around it and control it. Uh, and then uh, you'll see later. I start to really look at this area here. Because then they start spawning A, the cap A. But now that I've given you guys a little... Uh, Inside on what I was doing. Uh, we've got a few things to talk about. Today is May 8th. Obviously today is the NFL Draft. And Lord am I excited uh, about this. As we all know I'm a Colts fan. So a diehard Colts fan at that. Um, and so I'm looking for my team to, to get some good, uh, good selections today. Uh, I would love, love love to see them draft a really good player today especially in the first round and there's a lot of good players this year uh, I'm gonna go look at the mock draft and see who they got my Colts taking uh, with their pick in the first round and uh, but really what I wanted to talk about was Manziel because there's a lot of mixed reactions about Johnny Manziel uh, that I really wanted to do so I put my input on and a good friend of mine I was talking to earlier today, he brought up a good point that really made me think about it. Uh, he said that he thinks Menzel will be like Cam Newton. And what he means by that is, what the hell? Wow. Um, a, dr a mock draft that comes with a video. Wow, I should have thought about that. Anyway, he thought that Maybe Manzo will be like uh, he'll be like Cam Newton, which first you know maybe first two years he might sort of have average years. Which Cam Newton had a godly godly first year, he did really well, and then second year he was all right, and then last year he did pretty well too. So you know, I mean, it, I don't know. Uh, it's sort of tough to say what he'll be doing or what he might do, but. Now that I think about it and I look at this mock draft, I realize that my Colts don't even have a selection in the first round, and they don't even have a selection in the second, looks like. 
So that's a crock of shit. Oh wait, now they have their second round. Okay, so the I think they gave yeah that reminds me they gave away uh, their first round selection uh, to Cleveland to get Trent Richardson, which uh, I was pretty excited about that at first, but now that I think about it and I see how he's performed, uh, it's really a pain in the ass. Uh, the second round they've got my Colts taking. Um, who is it? They got them taking Jeremy Hill, which I'm a huge LSU fan, so this would be a good pick for me. Uh, an LSU player that goes to the Colts is always fun for me. I'm a huge uh, Tigers fan, so I, got, I don't have a problem with that. Jeremy Hill is a really good running back in college. Uh, I, I liked him. I liked him a lot, obviously. I'm an LSU fan. And, uh, you know, I'm, if he were to get drafted by them, that would be that'd be sick. I'd uh, definitely be down with him uh, being a Colt. Got us taking a tackle in the third. And that's pretty much as far as the draft, the mock draft goes. Uh, they got Jadavian Clowney going number one. Uh, Jake Matthews, the tackle going two. Jaguars taking Khalil Mack. And I don't think they got Menzel going until... Uh, he's not even in the top five. They don't got Menzel going until 11th to the Tennessee Titans. <laughs> oh my god. The Tennessee Titans? Really? I really want, I want to see the you know the Jaguars take Menzel, because I feel like they need somebody that's going to come in and bring ticket in, you know sell tickets. Um, he's an exciting player, you know. He's a, a charismatic quarterback. He's a really cool guy. Why not draft him? Because you don't, you know, necessarily you're not locking down the QB position right now. The Jaguars QB position is shit. Like they have nobody. Chad Henney. I think he's the only quarterback that's been there for quite some time now. And then you got uh uh what's his face? Fuck I don't even know his name. Blaine Gabbert. I mean, come on. Why not take Johnny Menzel? I mean they they're taking Khalil Mack with as far as the mock drafting is concerned. They see me die. They're taking Khalil Mack who is a really good linebacker and I could see why they would take him I guess but I mean at the same time uh, Khalil Mack I think would you know I think he'd fit in with the Raiders a little more than he would with the Jaguars but I don't know it's, it's gonna be interesting to see how it all pans out I'm definitely going for Manziel to go to the Jaguars I really want to see him go to there but you know there's a lot of questions maybe the Jaguars don't want to take him because they don't want to take the risk uh, you know they're already getting destroyed every year Anyway, so maybe they don't want to, you know, gamble on anybody else like they have been, which is understandable. Um, but at the same time, you know, why not? Why not take that gamble? He looks like somebody who, you know, if if he fails, he you know he's gonna fail hard. If he succeeds, he's gonna succeed really big. Uh, and that's kind of the way I see him. Uh, David Clowney, I'm not too sure on him. He's a really athletic guy. I think he'll do good. Uh, but Sammy Watkins is, I think, will be the rookie of the year. Uh, plain and simple. I think he's rookie of the year this year. He's a really good receiver. If he goes to the Lions, which they're thinking he's going to, then that's going to be insane with Calvin Johnson. So I'm looking forward to this this draft. Uh, and I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, peace out, guys.